my dear friends, we will be starting this Mass of Tuesday, the third week of, of Easter. Mass will be celebrated by Father O'Grady. We invite you to join us and pray with us. Let us pray for our world and ask for our own private and personal intentions at this Mass. We pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them at this Mass. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. I welcome you all, whether you're watching in your hospital rooms, or whether you're watching online, as we journey on throughout the holy season of Easter. Let's begin our Mass today by calling to mind that Easter is a season of great blessing. We thank God for the blessings that we receive in spite of the many problems we have today. We also acknowledge our limitations and we ask God's forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God now have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who opens wide the gates of the heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, our first reading is a reading from the Acts of Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, you stiff necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute. They put to death those who foretold the coming of the righteous one, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at me. <coughs> The Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently up, looked intently to heaven and saw the glory of God. When Jesus was standing at the right hand of God, and Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But he cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. As they were stoning him, he cried out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees, and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was concerning his execution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead and guide me. Into, Into your, your hands, hands, O Lord, Lord I, commend I commend my spirit. spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. 
I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Thank Into you your hands, O Lord, Lord, I commend my spirit. spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia. 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 I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. With you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can we can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as is, is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Amen, Amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven and gives life to the world. The bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. So they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger and whoever believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we journey on throughout the season of Easter, we look forward to the month of May that starts this week. And yesterday, um, the Holy Father published a, a letter for May. Um, it's taken, it, you can find it on Vatican News. Um, and this is the letter. He also has very special prayers in it, so I'd like to read the letter for you. It's in in its entirety. Letter of His Holiness Pope Francis for the, to the faithful for the month of May, dear brothers and sisters, the month of May is approaching, a time when the people of God express with particular intensity their love and devotion for the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is traditional in this month to pray the rosary at home within the family. The restrictions of the pandemic have made us come to appreciate all the more this family aspect, also from a spiritual point of view. For this reason, I want to encourage everyone to rediscover the beauty of praying the rosary at home in the month of May. This can be done either as a group or individually. You can decide according to your own situations, making the most of both opportunities. The key to doing this is always simplicity and it's easy also on the internet to find good models of prayer to follow. I'm providing two prayers to Our Lady that you can recite at the end of the Rosary and that I myself will pray in the month of May in spiritual union with all of you. I include them with this letter so that they are available to everyone. Dear brothers and sisters, contemplating the face of Christ with the heart of Mary our Mother will make us even more united as a spiritual family and will help us overcome this time of trial. I keep all of you in my prayers, especially those suffering most greatly, and I ask you please to pray for me. I thank you, and with great affection, I send you my blessing. Rome, the Feast of St. John Lateran, 25th of August, um, 2020. And the first prayer, 
Well, Mary, you shine, continu you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of hope and salvation. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the foot of the cross were united with Jesus' suffering and persevered and in your faith. Protect us of the Roman people. You know our needs, and we know that you will provide that as at Cana in Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. He took upon himself our suffering and burdened himself with our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities to deliver us always from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. In the present tragic situation, when we find ourselves, when the whole world is prey to suffering and anxiety, we fly to you, Mother of God and our Mother, and seek refuge under your protection. Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes toward us amid this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who have died and at times are buried in a way that grieves them deeply. Be close to those who are concerned for their loved ones who are sick and who, in order to prevent the spread of the disease, cannot be close to them. Fill with hope those who are troubled by the uncertainty of the future and the consequences for the economy and employment. Mother of God and our Mother, Pray to us, to, to God, the Father of mercies, that this great suffering may end and that hope and peace may draw anew. Plead with your divine Son, as you did at Cana, that the families of the sick and the victims be comforted and their hearts be opened to confidence and trust. Protect those doctors, nurses, healthcare workers and volunteers who are at the front line of this emergency and are risking their lives to save others. Support their heroic efforts and grant them strength, generosity, and continual help. Be close to those who assist the sick night and day, and to priests who, in their pastoral concern and fidelity to the gospel, are trying to help and support everyone. Blessed Virgin, illumine the minds of men and women engaged in scientific research that they may find effective solutions to overcome this virus. Support national leaders who with wisdom, solicitude, and generosity, they may come to the aid of those lacking the basic necessities of life and may devise social and economic situation, solutions inspired by far-sightedness and solidarity. Mary Most Holy, stir our consciences that the enormous funds invested in developing and stockpiling arms may instead be spent on promoting effective research, how to prevent similar tragedies from occurring and in the future. Beloved Mother, help us realize that we are all members of one great family and to recognize the bond that unites us, that in the spirit of fraternity and solidarity, we may help to alleviate countless situations of poverty and need. Make us strong in faith, persevering in service and constant in prayer. Mary, consolation of the afflicted, Embrace all your children in distress and pray that God will stretch out his all-powerful hand and free us from this terrible pandemic that life can, can serenely resume its normal course. To you who shine on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope, do we entrust ourselves, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. Very impressive letter from the Holy Father. The month of May, of course, is Mary's month when we are exalted to pray the rosary. And let's try to at least say part of the rosary, maybe a decade or two of the rosary in our families each day if we can during the month of May and ask Our Lady's intercession to end this terrible virus. And to remember also those who died and the tens of thousands who were sick and also the caregivers. There's a great deal of suffering involved. But you know, praying the rosary, prayer, 
can be a great uplift. It can give all of us a good sense of self-esteem, give us confidence in the future, and also um, give us the strength to accept the challenges that come each day. Everybody believes, we believe, we live in scary times. So with God's help, this will be overcome. Let's ask Our Lady's intercession in a special way as the Holy Father has asked us in this very important month of May, which starts this day. May God bless you and your families and friends with his gift of peace. And most of all, that God may stretch out his hands and be with you and bless you each day of your lives. Amen. 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 Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you now. And with your spirit. Let us pray. <laughs> Trust in complete life that God can transform any sorrow into joy if we possess sufficient faith. Let's bring our prayers and our needs to him. <clears throat> our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the body of Christ, the church, throughout the world, that we both individually and collectively can experience the life of our faith in an, in an open, dark world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve others, teachers, medical and legal professionals, and those who perform direct service to the poor, that they may be supported by our prayers and the resources of society, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who always seek to manifest a spirit of happiness and good cheer, that they may be rewarded through our positive response to their gestures of kindness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For refugees, immigrants, homeless, and others who seek a better life, that they may be able to fulfill their dreams through the assistance of those who have the ability to help them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been cast aside by society, the elderly, prisoners, and those who simply do not, do not neatly fit in with our contemporary society, that they may see their personal value in their own human dignity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own private intentions, we bring all of them to this altar of God's grace. That from here, God may answer and bring you the favors you are asking for. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, we raise our prayers to you. Hear these and those intentions that remain in the privacy of our hearts. And please grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. We also remember all of our patients. And we remember our doctors, surgeons, nurses, and staff, that God may always continue to give them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. <clears throat> Blessed are you now, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> The mystery of this water and wine now. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to partake in our humanity. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. 
Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to praise you ever more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna on high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out <clears throat> for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Timothy Broglio, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Jerry Pilkington, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your Son in the death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We remember all our deceased relatives and friends, those who have died recently, and all those who have died because of the coronavirus, and those for whom we've been asked to pray. Welcome then, Lord, 
into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, come. thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. For Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Of each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. In the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, in eternal life, bless me. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, by the will of the Father, and the one of the Holy Spirit, we thank God for us today. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, let only me say the word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. I am the holy vine, which God my Father tends. Each branch that yields its fruit, my Father, the prune. 
ones we can. Each fruitful branch he prunes with care to make it yield abundant fruit. I am the holy vine which God my Father Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended now. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hail, holy queen, enthroned above, O Maria. Hail, mother of mercy and of love, O Maria. Triumphal ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound their hymn, Salve, Salve, Salve Regina. Gracias. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Pasando a